everyone, this is Ingrid. Welcome back to my channel. Are you in an online dating? Well, you click the right video then. Because in today's video, I'll be sharing with you on how to spot and avoid an online dating scammers. If you are in an online dating, make sure that the person you are talking to is actually a scammer to avoid mishaps and being a victim. Online dating scams are prevalent in many of the majority of dating sites nowadays. So it's really important that you are aware of these red flags. Okay, without much ado, let's start. Number one sign is that he has a limited profile information. There are a few signs that you should look for when looking for a potential matches online dating profile. First is that their profile have very few images that seem to be model or glamour stock photos. Second is that despite looking for singles in your area, they always work or live in another country. Third is that many scammers claim to be in military deployment in another country. Also, most of these scammers dating profiles are not linked to their Instagram or other accounts. Number two sign is that he would take the conversation elsewhere. Online dating scammers, especially those who are using fake profiles, will quickly ask you to move to another form of messaging outside the platform where you met. Oftentimes, scammers will want to communicate with you via written messages in social dating apps like Facebook and Instagram. However, they may also choose to message you via SMS or an app like WhatsApp. So be really cautious to anyone you haven't met yet that wants to move the conversation to another platform. Number three sign is that he would profess his love early on. Online dating scammers tend to move very quickly in terms of professing an emotional connection with you. And take note, these are all just emotional manipulation to their possible victims. It's the reason why people who are vulnerable and isolated are their desirable targets since they are longing for connection. So you should look out for any matches that are overly flattery and overly devoted early on in your communication when you haven't even met yet. Number four sign is that he wants to meet you but there's always something comes up. The common line among online dating scammers is that they want to meet you in person but when the time comes there's always an expected issue. It's because he is fake. He's not the one he claims to be. And the reality is he doesn't have any plan to meet you in person. This is also the reason why many online dating scammers claim to work in another country or in a military deployment. It gives them an excuse for not being able to meet up. In fact, many of these scammers use photos of military personnel and soldiers in their profiles. The inability to meet you may even be the supposed reason he's gonna try to solicit money from you. He may claim that he needs some money to buy a ticket to travel and meet you. Or sometimes some of these scammers would say that the border officials detain them and that they need money for their release. Number five sign is that he avoids video chat completely. He would avoid phone calls and video chats. However, there are scammers who can really fake their accents. No matter what, he would not appear in video chats or video calls because he's just using a fake profile in chess. So be really cautious if your match is never willing to appear in video calls or has always um, excuses that his camera is being broken 
or has poor internet connection. Some people though may initially hesitate to appear in the camera out of shyness. But it's a different story if he already professed his love for you, yet won't let you talk to him in video after weeks of communication. Number six sign is that he would request money from you. He would invent variety of scenarios from family emergencies, health issues, or travel problems. As this is the ultimate goal of scammers to deceive you to eventually perform their motive. There are even scammers who would trick you into sending them money by apparently sending you a package that requires customs fees. You know what? Scammers don't necessarily work alone. So you may receive a phone call or a document from someone posing as a third party to request fees. So be really careful. If any kind of financial request from your online suitor or something related to them such as package or business, this is the biggest sign that you are a target of a scam. Number seven sign is he asks for your help with financial transactions. Other scammers, instead of trying to get money from the victim, they make you as an accomplice in money laundering. Such as the scammer would send you money and would ask you to send it to another account for them. Or sometimes, they may ask you to open a bank account for them. If your online suitor would ask you to get involved into this kind of financial transactions, it is likely that he is a scammer and is trying to persuade you into illegal activities. And lastly, the number 8 sign is that he would send you a link to another website. This is especially true in online dating apps where bot profiles are common. This is often a tactic to get you to supply your financial information or for you to download a malicious software. This is basically the online dating version of phishing and is a very popular tactic for scammers on dating apps such as Tinder, Bumble, and Match. So, if you are in an online dating now, it is very important to be very mindful of your privacy. This not only helps you avoid scams, but also protects you from creeps and cyber stalkers. So be sure not to share too much information that will give these scammers an idea to pick you as their potential target. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something from this video. And if you do, please don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye!